Good morning, guys. Sorry, I did mean to post yesterday and the day just got away from me. So this is a bit of a compilation of nonsense. Some are really short, some are a little bit longer. Bear with me. Um, and there's a bit of a surprise uh, return of an old friend toward the end. So meet Charlotte Liam, who unsuccessfully tried to follow me. Hello, she says. I said, yes, how can I help you? How are you doing? I said, who is this, please? I'm Charlotte Luna, the official account publicist to the Robbie Williams. To the Robbie Williams. How long have you been a fan of Robbie Williams? I said, please send proof of affiliation to Robbie. Thank you. And is it customary to message people on Christmas? And she obviously gave it up as a bad thing because I just went, no, I didn't think so. Make better choices with your life or more. They saw that yesterday and crawled away. Account's still active, though. So we'll see. Not deleting it quite yet. Now I want you to meet Jason Momoa, who messaged me at uh, four in the morning yesterday. Hello, beautiful. I have seen a quite handful of your comments on my post uploaded on my business page, so I decided to create a more private page to appreciate those people whose comments and good wishes encourages me, and I hope to bring you guys more, dot, dot, dot. Thanks a lot. I feel so honoured and blessed to have an amazing fan like you. Ugh, same copy-paste nonsense. I said three different usernames since March this account has had, so uh, you didn't just decide to create anything. And what comments, please? Yes, it is me, he says. I hate all these questions. Why will I have the desire to tell you that I am someone else? Most celebrities out there refuse to connect with their fans because a lot of persons out there are only after fame and money from us. That old chestnut. I said, exactly. That's why I have to be extra careful, and I'm sure Jason would never expect the fan to blindly believe every profile that messages. That's unreasonable and ridiculous. I know you must be so amazed and shocked to get a text from me, he says. Trust me, it is from me, for I am so down to earth. Let's say all this together, guys, we know it, and I believe you know so well. Seeing your profile, you remind me of an old friend that I care for so much, but it's so sad. I lost her to cancer about eight years ago dot 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 she really meant a lot to me I said so not really reading what I'm writing that's nice who was your friend then what was her name Wendy I keep that personal <laughs> said our fake I said you're the one who brought it up dude not me I said you don't have a single post on this account and you say uh the real Jason noticed this account lol I bet he did which the Muppet love hearted and didn't come back. I said, note to self, this one doesn't understand sarcasm or irony. Check. Now, he saw that three hours ago. It is um, middle of the night over there, so we'll see what happens. Again, I'm not going to delete th this one. He may come back. Who knows? This one's another short one. Meet Instagram user formerly known as Adam Lambert. Hello, he tries. The unoriginal approach. I said, hi, who is this, please? Hello, I've seen quite a handful of your likes and comments on my posts and I just want to go out of my way to appreciate those people whose comments and good wishes encourages me. Love heart. I said, okay, I'm actually more of a Queen fan, to be honest with you. Sorry. How's Oliver? Hope you two had a lovely Christmas, which he love hearts. We are fine. Thanks for the support, 100%. It always being a huge pleasure to have time with my fans. I said, well, like I said, I'm more of a Queen fan. You just come as a package deal, I guess, LOL. I see you are an old fan of mine, he says. I said, well, not really. You do know when you join the band, don't you? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hmm. Are you not a fan of mine? Said our scammer, starting to panic. I said, so you're not reading or you're not understanding a word I'm saying, which is weird because Adam would 100% know what I was talking about, dot, 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 dot. What do you mean I know you will be surprised to see a message from me? I just feel like to know my fans out there who really love and support my career, he tries desperately. I said, yeah, you're changing the subject now, rolling my eyes. You didn't Google Adam, did you, before making this account? That's silly. Now, he saw that Sunday and before the account was taken down, I said, but let's face it, options for you are thin on the ground. It's being almost Christmas. I mean, what are you going to do for funds? But he didn't see it. 
he just ran away and the account's now gone. <laughs> now meet Anna Kolja. This was uh, Norman Reedus's manager, apparently. So why are you asking to follow me? Hello, she says. I'm a personal assistant to Mr. Norman Reedus. And we're here to say thanks for your likes, comments and support all these past years. How is the weather over there today? Question mark. I said, why are you messaging random people on Christmas? How does Norman actually condone, let alone approve this? Mr. Norman requested me to message you last week, she said, but family and personal commitments delayed my outreach. I apologize for any inconvenience. Wishing you a belated Merry Christmas. And it was actually on Christmas Day, but anyway. If uh, if there's anything you'd like to discuss, feel free to let me know. My name is Anna, smiley face, and I happened to be his personal online manager. You got chosen as a result of your nice words on his post. He has been observing your love and support towards his career. I really don't know what else he wants to say to you that you should find out that from him. Would you want to accept and honour his invitation or turn it down, anyone you choose? Let me know so I report back to him. That old chestnut. Again, I said, I'll need proof of your affiliation to him, seeing as there are more fakes and scammers online than real people. What type of proof are you searching for, miss? I said, you, as the professional you're claiming to be, surely has this already covered. I'm sure Norman didn't send you out pimping on Christmas without a way to prove yourself. That would just be silly and unbelievable now, wouldn't it? There's already a picture of me and Mr. Norman. What more evidence are you actually looking for, miss? And I would love to show you that photo, but the account's now down. It was effectively a fan photo of Norman Reedus hugging some random blonde woman. All right. I said, that photo looks exactly like what it is, a photo taken by an actor with his fan. I'm now wondering where you're from. Not the girl in the photos, which I'll search on Google Image soon, but you. And around more evidence, I said, I have photos with celebs and I don't pose as their managers. Send me your LinkedIn and surname and I'll search you out in his official .com account list of staff. Brackets. Every card-carrying member of SAG has one and all staff are listed. Is that what you think? said our incensed scammer. I deserve some privacy, don't I? In request to sending LinkedIn and surname. I said, not when you're claiming to uh, be affiliated to someone famous and really aren't. That's just nonsense. I'm a professional and as such have my credentials ready when needed. You're obviously not a professional and affiliated with anyone famous. It's clear. Ugh. I don't have time for arguments. I have other things to do. I will just give you your, your feedback as no. Thanks for your time, miss. I said, good luck getting clients with this profile. Make better choices with your life, which they saw yesterday and the account was taken down or blocked me. Could be either. <laughs> we'll see. Now meet Private Norman Reedus himself. Hi, gorgeous. I said, hi there. Yes, dear, in response to nothing, really. How are you doing? I said, I'm fine, and you? I'm good. Hope you had a great day. I said, so far, I've just done some Christmas shopping, bought some decorations and a four-foot Santa and a barbecue for the backyard. Spent way too much money, LOL, which he love hearts. Definitely, dear, dot, dot, dot. It's his season, he says. I said, please don't call me dear. I hate it and I'm not old. I, I'll appreciate it if you don't. Okay, pretty. Where are you chatting from? I said, I'm from Moorpork, Tasmania, and you, which he love hearts. It's nice knowing you. Are you married? I said, no, not yet. I'm thinking about it, though. What about you? I'm divorced. I would love to know more about you. I said, like what? What do you do for a living? I thought you are one of my fans comes back our fake actor. I said, I thought you were a fan of Norman. I just wanted to chat with someone who enjoyed the show and film. Smiles, he says. Oh, said no one ever in the world that I know of. I said, what on earth does smiles mean? Why do you guys write smiles? It's not a thing, you know. I just smiled to your text. I said, uh-huh, that's not a thing here in the West. I'm just saying. Because we know by now you aren't Norman. So what's your name? Really? Why do you ladies say this? Meaning, mm-hmm. I said, you ladies implies I'm not the first to tell you this, and frankly, I'm not surprised. Your English does not stand up, dude. 
By your way of writing, I'd say you're from West Africa and about 20 years old. I was right, wasn't I? Ha! Knew it. What do you mean? Ugh. You aren't American, that much is clear, so pretending to be someone famous is just silly. Think it isn't obvious in the way you write. And shouldn't you be in bed? It's after 11.30pm over there. And he saw that last week, but the account's still up. I think I've done this in a compilation before, so if I have, forgive me. <laughs> now, I just want to put in a trigger warning for anyone. Um, skip past this one if if you have some trauma, please, because things get a little bit nasty, probably from my end, just because I got sick of this one. This was Chris Evans. Um, go back and have a look at the three videos called Scammer Begging. Um, so he actually came back and I thought, you know what, what the heck, I will keep him um, going as long as I can. Let's waste this guy's time and internet minutes. So I'm just going to play you the voice note, the last voice note that he sent. There goes a plane, just so that you guys remember who we are talking about. I'm, I'm I'm so sorry. At least you just give me a chance so that I can call you and video call. Let me apologize to you. I'm so sorry, okay? Okay, so we went through this whole thing where I said I was going to report him for harassment um, and that uh, I don't want to be his friend, but I want to. I said, what you want doesn't count F off. If you, if really you have accepted my apology, then also accept my friendship. I don't want anything but friendship. I said, you're harassing me now and that's against Facebook policies. I'll have you banned on all your accounts. Please, he said. I said, I wish you ill will. Okay, answer my call. I want to talk to you. I said, no, I want to talk to you about something, he said. I said, I've reported you for harassment. Let's be friends. I said, when a woman says no, you go away. Otherwise, it's criminal and harassment. I don't care. What I care is you. I said, oh, are you a terrible man? No. I said, you're a bastard who beats women, aren't you? No, no, I don't do that. I said, Allah is ashamed of you. I always respect and care about you. I said, then go away. Okay, bye. Sorry for bothering you. Good morning. Hi. How are you doing today? And there we were up to speed. He tried calling me. That was on the 22nd of December. So again, he said, hope you are having a wonderful day. May God bless and protect you. The next day on the 23rd. Hi. On Monday. Merry Christmas. May you live long life and prosperity. I wish you all the best. Tried ringing me again. And then I thought, no, nah, let's keep this going. I said, do not ever call me again. It's Christmas. How dare you tarnish my home and phone with your call? Don't ever contact me again. I'm sorry, he said. I believe that the most important key to a successful relationship would have to be trust. I believe that we trust, love will follow. However, what I have noticed is that many people think trust or expect that trust is to be earned by the other person, when in all actuality it is something that comes from within yourself. All too many times people will say they don't trust you past experiences. What they don't realize is that they have built up these proverbial walls to prevent Take them from the very thing they are searching for, dot, dot, dot. Yes, there is a risk in trusting someone, but when you finally find that right person, it makes all past experiences and lessons learned very much worth the risk, said our scammer who resorts to, to Google to try and convince me. I said, what? Are you getting your scams and people mixed up again? No, this is from my heart, love heart. I said, no, it's from Google, and why are you sending it to me? I mean no harm, he tries. It's from my heart. I said, and I have made it clear over and over and over again that I don't want to know you. So take a hint and crawl away into a hole somewhere. The fact that this profile is still active shows that you're trying to scam people. Ugh. And if you guys notice, he's changed the profile name to Chris Hemsworth now. Hope your day was good. Hope your your day was good. He tries. I said, insert paragraph here. Since when I meet you, I haven't chat chatted anyone. Okay, he says against all obvious evidence. I said, words, words, mumble, mumble. 
I and my friend, he said, because he'd sent a photo of him and, and some other dude. I don't even know if I kept the photo. Let me check. Yes, here it is, guys. So the scammer and his friend, he's trying very hard. Note the affluent neighborhood, guys. That area is way nicer than where I live right? And I don't live in a, a terribly bad area. So this guy is not lacking money. So after he sends it, I and my friend, I said, care factor zero. Thanks for the pick that now I'll reverse image search and post all over. Well done, genius. Why? Said our mildly panicky scammer. I said, because you're a child who doesn't take a no for an answer, which is what stalkers and rumors do, which make you creepy and weird and frankly dangerous to any a woman you decide you want. Please don't do that, he says in response to I was going to post his photo everywhere. I said, you're a predator. Then go away and leave me alone. I will never decide you, I swear to God, he says in response to being a child who doesn't take no for an answer. I promise you I will go always if you go on video call, let's talk, trying to blackmail me. I said, you don't respect women, you don't respect their feelings and needs, so you're a creep and a stalker and a predator and a child. Please, he says. I said, no, real men do not blackmail women. You're an inexperienced little boy who's also creepy. I will never blackmail anyone, he comes in incredulous. I said, you make my skin crawl. He tried calling me. I said, you give me the ick. I promise to go away. I said, I'll report you for harassment now. You'll lose all your scam accounts. But allow me to see your face. I want to tell you why I chatted you with Chris Evans' profile, our scammer tries. I said, no. Please, he begs. I said, you are creepy and weird and... Ugh. Sorry, um, anyone can read that word themselves. Apologies, it is a trigger warning. I'm pleased is his really fucked up response, guys. I'm sorry, I'm not even going to not say that. That's fucked up. I said, I think you abuse women. I don't. I said, your poor mother would be horrified. I feel bad for her. You know nothing about women. I beg you in the name of your God, you served her. I said, no, you're a creep. You are so beautiful, he says in response to no, sending a cat with love heart eyes. I said, and I've reported you for harassment now, which I did. And I like you, it was his response to being reported. I said, reported, go have fun stalking yourself. Ugh, you are so creepy and weird. My skin is crawling and I think I've vomited in my mouth a little. Goodbye, said our hero of some tragedy, some Shakespearean tragedy as he views himself, and then, as a final thing, tried to call me. So I haven't responded. I will bait him again. I know he's creepy and weird, guys, but the more time he spends with me, the less success he's having with other people. And you know he's not really in need of money, which makes this guy even creepier. So uh, I'm going to try and lighten things up a little bit now with my next ridiculous scammer. Meet real Keanu Reeves, right? The real one, honestly, honestly, all right? I said, do not invite me to follow your dodgy page, Omar, because he had, he didn't, he invited me to follow. Thanks for being a fan, he says, ignoring that, sending a love heart. Be careful so you won't get hurt by anyone claiming to be me, said our scammer claiming to be Keanu Reeves. I said, do, it's clear you aren't even English speaking, let alone Keanu. That's why I rated your page for you and let everyone know you're a fake who uses Keanu's name and picture. What are you talking about? Did you come here to lay false accusations on me? You should have asked what brought me here. I said, the real Keanu would fully understand. Ipso facto, going by your reaction alone, I have my answer. You invited me to join some dodgy page. If you have nothing to hide, you can show yourself. You won't, though. Mrs, it's fine. Block me now. I said, I know what brought you here. Clients remitting, hopefully. I doubt you'll manage that, though. It seems you don't believe me. I can't convince anyone to believe me. And in response to Mrs. It's Fine Block Me, I said, why should I? I want you to talk with me. Every time you do, you give yourself away. 
And in response to, I can't convince anyone to believe me, I said, well, I know you can't convince anyone. That much is clear, even by your own admission, LOL. Be careful. I've received a lot of insult. I'm tired of it, <laughs> threatens my scammer. I said, of you, in response to be careful, I said, nah, you're clearly a fake that a child wouldn't believe. And in response to he's received a lot of insult, I said, scammers don't get to be insulted. You have no feelings, not human ones. Enough of this insult. Did I ask you for money? He said. I said, Elamo, you're still a liar. Then why are you calling me a scammer? I said, and you guys only ever lie and steal, and because you're a liar, and your plan for clients involves money, therefore scammer, if the shoe fits. Okay, that's what you think, he said. I said, I know it. So even when I was a scammer, why will you message me, he tries. I said, you aren't here to make friends. You should have blocked me instead, he tries again. I said, you asked me to follow your scam page. You deserve all the hate. You came to give me some insult, right? Finally realising why I uh, messaged him. I said, oh, are you hurt? Do you need a hug? Please, enough of this, he laments. I said, you guys don't like the word thief, do you? It's hustling, right? Getting donations, remittance, whatever. It's still stealing. You don't even know what people are passing through in life, he tries. I said, I know liars, though, and they are scum. Honest people just be themselves and ask for help. They don't lie and steal. But you guys won't listen, he laments. You are not even ready to help. I said, sorry, hustle. You know why we don't listen? Because of you scammers ruining it for honest people. And in response to not being ready to help, I said, I give to charity every year, but liars and thieves can starve. The misery you cause to others is huge, but you won't care. You're a soulless goblin. But I've never scammed anyone before, I swear. He tries, seeing a glimmer that I might actually donate some charity to him. I said, still with the lying. Why the fake profile then, if not for money? Listen, you won't understand what's really going on, he said. I said, I've heard it all before, sending a laughing emoji. Then block me if you don't want to listen to me. I said, if you were honest, you'd start a GoFundMe or something, not lie and steal. I'm a good person. I said, I don't believe you. Poverty just turned me into this, he said. I said, you, you'd use your own profile if you were a good person. Ever since my parents died, I got involved in this, he tries. I said, millions of people are poor and suffering and don't steal. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be doing all this. I said, you're sorry that you got caught. If you were sorry, you'd take this profile down, but you won't. I know what I'm doing is wrong, he says. I said, I'm not sure you do. Did you know that people have killed themselves because of you scammers? Did you know that? But if I stop, how am I going to be surviving? I said, being left homeless, no money, no food, and then they die, we'd cross-posted. I understand, he said. I said, get a job, start a YouTube channel, clean the streets, anything except steal and lie. Here is different from your country. Things are not done the way you think here. As in, I guess they don't work over there. I said, anyone with arms and legs and a phone can make money online. You're just making excuses, justifying it to yourself because you don't want to try. And in response to that, he said, you can tell me all about it. I will love to try. I said, no, I'm not going to help you. Rather than doing this, I said, you came to me lying. I'll never help you. I only help honest people. I'm sorry, he tries. I said, I'd rather beg on the street than do what you do. The damage you cause is immense. I've got a friend in Nigeria who says there are jobs there for people who want to work. Physical labouring jobs. But you young kids don't want to work. Please, if you can be of help to me, I can change for good. I can change for good. I can change for good, he said. And promptly blocked me because I wasn't immediately saying, OK, I'll help you. Here's some startup money. Pathetic scammers. The profile's still up, by the way. Now I want you to meet Abubakar Sabil. Sorry if I've butchered the name. Official Billy Joel Facebook page, right? Which it most obviously is not, right? Um, there were a whole bunch of comments and other photos which he has since deleted. 
Uh, let's have a look at his information. So, yeah, right. So we know, obviously, there is no way that this guy is in any way Billy Joel, right? He's from Nigeria, right? So he tried to friend me. Ooh, hold on. I got lost there for a second. Um, and I just went, I'm sorry, but who is this, please? Your profile's all over the place, so please introduce yourself. Now, it didn't even say uh, message request sent. So I've got a feeling that he's used this account and tried to do it before, right? So I got no response after this one. However, I got hit up by the following. Meet Michael Ikechuk. Again, apologies for the name. He sends me a screenshot of my own message to the other account. You sent this, but I can't text on that page. It's an official page, he says. You guys just saw the official page, right? So it's not. I said, so why couldn't that particular account of yours message? Maybe I blocked you when it was being used under a different name. And your profiles, both of them, I've really badly made. And around that being his official page, I said, no, it's not. It's not Billy's official page. You have the same followers as this page. And I looked at those accounts and your, your posts, and there's no way you're Billy Joel. You've linked both pages to the same account. I'll tell you this question has been coming from almost all my plans that I texted to know how you're feeling about my videos. You know I'm an upcoming superstar. Well, I understand your trust and everything, but this is really me. I'm not here for jokes. And secondly, Instagram do not allow any other person. Create a duplicate of my page. It's on their violation law. Okay, I need you to be honest like you are absolute word soup nonsense. I said, upcoming superstar. I'm sorry, but do you know who Billy Joel is and that you're not even on Instagram? Should I show you my official account on Telegram? He says, I have two basic accounts on Telegram. One I don't chat, the other I chat with my fans and promptly shows me an account on Instagram. This guy is a mess all over the place. I said, why on earth would I move to Telegram? And you haven't answered any of the questions about the two accounts which are linked to this. I meant Instagram. I said, all the posts on those accounts, all the comments. Okay, let's be straight. Ask your questions. I said, I mean, you can't blame me for being very sceptical. And I already did. You didn't bother to read them. This question here, right? He said, where I'd said you've linked both pages to the same account. And I understand you in response for being sceptical. I said, that's one of them, but you haven't provided an explanation to either account, both of which are linked and both are the accounts of young West African boys, plus the dodgy name and the really dodgy accounts. Are you on Instagram? Let's talk on my Instagram, he tries. I said, let's stay here. This is no different. Okay, good. I said, over on Insta, I'd still be asking the same questions and have the exact same doubts. There's nothing to doubt about he says. I said, why would an upcoming superstar like you have these dodgy profiles? These are lazy, silly accounts. Just that I have to stay low for the time being. Let's have it straight. You don't have to doubt. Because yeah, that's enough to convince me, guys. I said, no, that's not good enough. I assure you they're nothing to be doubtful of. I said, why is that in response to let's have it straight, you don't have to doubt? I said, you've said nothing to show your Billy. In fact, everything you've said shows the opposite. I'm now so sceptical, I'll need proof. What do you want me to show you to you as proof? <laughs> I said, you've started really poorly. And that's up to you. You're meant to be the superstar. You have these dodgy accounts and you're messaging. So I'm sure a man in his 80s, an upcoming star such as yourself, can work something out. I would get rid of the do doggy accounts. The doggy accounts. That's not a problem, though. I'm not here to deceive anyone, said our scammer here to deceive me. I said, getting rid of them isn't the issue of the doggy accounts, guys. The fact that you use them is... They are, def they are obviously not yours. If you are finding it hard to believe I'm really Billy Joel, maybe we should call it a day by. To which I said I checked out every person following them both in every post. And bye, Mugu. And he promptly blocked me. But I did go over on Instagram and leave some nasty messages on his Instagram profile. So we'll see. Hang on, let me see if I took a photo of this Michael account. Oh, I didn't. What a shame. But there was someone else, another Billy Joel that hit me up, and this was their, started a new job at 
piece of shit hacking update. <laughs> That's the way I translated it. Last but not least, meet Kelvin Ben. Hello, fan. Do not be surprised. I'm writing to you. I'm not God. I'm human like any other. Because we all think celebrities are gods, right? Hands up if you do, right? Being a celebrity is not a big deal. I'm here for a reason because my fans said I'm too proud of myself. So I had to come to this level by creating this private account to make sure I talk to them and make them happy also to appreciate my loyal fans for the love and support throughout the years. All love, love heart, Rose. So I sent him that photo we just had a look at. I said, who is this then? And nobody thinks anyone is like God. What a ridiculous and narcissistic thing to say. I said, you guys are getting lazier and lazier. I've gone right through your profile, dude, every single post, and you're still just lazy. How stupid do you think we are over here, huh? Which he didn't see and didn't bother coming back to me. He was active an hour ago, so we'll see if he does come back. Let me have a look if this guy's account's still up, because there was a lot of very interesting stuff on there. Hold on. No, he's, he's deleted all the... There was a lot... A lot of posts and messages from all these friends going on about collecting money and yada, yada, yada. Okay, so that was just pretty much the, the quick ones here. Um, <laughs> quick ones, 30-minute video. I am still recording all the um, Gmail chats that didn't end up going anywhere because they all lost their accounts. So anyone who just wants to listen to my my uh, sound of my voice, then that'll be enough to put you to sleep, I'm sure, because they didn't go anywhere. So I'll be recording that and dropping that shortly. Have a wonderful day. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Okay, bye.